This is to go over tangential programming in shop mill program. On the right here, I got a sample part just to show uh, tangent programming since the angles are not called out on the part. We'll do like a pocket routine on this part in the center. Our XY0 will be the bottom left hand side here. So we'll go to Program Manager, Part Programs, say New, name our program, OK. Now this is to describe your material. We got inch G54. You got block, different types of materials that you can use. We're going to use the block. Now it's asking for our corner XY0. Our length will be 5 inches. Our width will be 5 inches. Z0 will be the top of our material. We'll make our block one inch thick, going negative. And work in the XY plane. If you hit your graphic view here, this will show your material as you draw it out. As you can see, our Z0 is top, five inches by five inches, about approximately one inch thick. Then it's asking for a retract plane, safety distance, machining sense for climb cutting and conventional cutting, and retract plane. Get all the blanks filled in and you have an accept button, so you just accept it. Now we'll go contour milling, new contour, we'll call it pocket. Say accept. So now we'll start. We're going to start at this point on the part. Go counterclockwise. So now it's asking for our starting point. We don't know where our arcs begin, so we'll just say polar. We know the center of it is 1.3 input. Y will be 3.5 input. We know our arc is 0.75 input. And now it's starting at zero. We want to start at 90 degrees because we don't know exactly where the point is at zero. Now we're starting at 90 degrees. This is the center of our arc. This is our starting point. We have an accept button, so now we'll push accept. Now we'll do an arc counterclockwise 0.75 for our radius. We don't know the starting points of our arc, but we do know the center of it. We'll say 3.5 for X input, and this will fill in the rest. So if we look at our graphic view now, there's the center, there's our arc, that's our starting point. Except, now we'll do an XY. We don't know the angle the starting points or end points of them. So we'll just say tangent, accept. Then we'll do our next radius, which is the 250 radius, counterclockwise, 
we don't know the starting point or end point but we do know the center so we know x is going to be 3.5 y will be 1 inch now we'll hit tangent as you can see it drew, drew the line to tangent with our other radius so now both radiuses should be tangent to each other so now we'll do another line to draw this line we don't know the start point or end point so we'll say tangent and accept we'll draw another arc to finish this arc here counterclockwise put in our radius input again we don't we don't know the input or the end point or start point of it but we do know the center so x would be 1.3 Y will be 3.5. Now we have a radius. We can say tangent. There's our line. Now we have to give it an end point for our radius. So if we come down here and look at our graphic view, this is asking for our end point. So we'll say 180. Now we got an, our arc started and finished. Say accept. Now we have our geometry for our pocket. As you can see over here to the left, this is all the the lines that we just typed in to make our geometry. You can arrow up and down, and it highlights which one's which, and make changes if you need to using your arrow keys. When you get the way you like it, say accept. Now we got our contour. Now we want to do a pocket. Select tool. We'll go with tool 6, which is a half inch radius, one inch diameter. Say to list to the program, and this will add it to the program. You have your feed rate, your spindle RPM, you have roughing, you can hit your select button for base, wall, chamfer, roughing, which we'll use the roughing, or Z0, if we hit our graphic view here, it's asking for your Z0 point, Z negative, so we'll take our pocket a half inch deep move our tools over 75 percent of the tool diameter how much per step down say 250 thousandths per pass this is to leave the finishing material on your walls 20 thousandths 20 thousandths on the floor for finished material starting point automatically different options here Just hit and select we'll go with automatic different options for how you'd like to approach your material helical oscillate vertical we'll go with the helical this is the radiuses for which how big you want it to go for the helical and retract to our plane. Say accept. Now you can see here they're connected together. You can run your simulation. Now we didn't finish our pocket out because the end mill is too large, so we'll go back, edit, we'll go contour 
pocket res material pick our tool 250 radius to the list to the program input there's our feed rate spindle speed this is the tool that did the first roughing pass or Z0 how deep we'd like to go how much you'd like to move over per pass you can change that to 50% how much per pass Z depth finishing material on the walls and on the floor lift mode to retract plane except now we got all three procedures connected together you can not execute it from here we hit the reset button simulation cycle start turn our feed rates up and that's your finished part If you want to make any changes, you can use your arrow keys to go down. When you see the arrow key here, you can arrow over and make your changes for depth of cuts or geometry. But this is how you program with tangent functions in the contour programming of Shopmill.